So I just wanted to make a quick video on um, OFAT simulation. Uh, the code, the OFAT code has improved quite a lot over the last uh, few weeks. Um, and here's the default o OFAT simulation, so organic field effect tran uh, tran uh, transistor. Um, if you click on new simulation, you'll get this in the OFET uh, folder, and it's called OFET top contact. So if you click on that, um, this, this will appear. Um, our device is uh, consists of, uh, I guess, two, two key layers. So we've got this layer here is the semiconductor, and this layer here is the insulator. So typically this will be made of some organic material, um, you know, some, some polymer you're interested in, or conducting small molecule you're interested in. And this layer here is the... Um, is insulating gate. And the way this uh, device works effectively, charge is injected through one contact and it come, and it travels along here and um, it goes out of this contact. And by, um, by uh, uh, changing the voltage on this gate here, you can, you can drag the charge or you can manipulate where, how the charge flows in the device by, by playing, applying gate contact here. And what happens is to turn this thing on, you apply a very large voltage to the gate and it sort of drags all the carriers from the contact right to the interface between the uh, semiconductor and the um, insulator. And you get very, very ch high uh, charge carrier densities, which means very high mobility. So it effectively the device turns on by dragging um, all these charges to the bottom of the device and um, making high, high charge density and uh, a high mobility. So that's how, how these devices effectively work. Um, so let's just have a go at running the simulation by clicking run. So it's uh, running here. And there we go, it's run. So let's look at the uh, output um, window. So let's go to snapshots. And here we can look at all the, um, all the, uh, all, all the parameters inside the device. So this, this very finely mesh layer here is the is this semiconductor oops is this semiconductor layer here the blue layer and this very much more widely mesh layer is the insulator um, so this oxide insulator here so let's just look at um, let's look at uh, the charge the, the current flow in the y direction so here's n of j of n so that's current flowing effectively down here and back up here but it's it's not it's not showing us any any lateral movement. So we can look at this by as, as a function of voltage. We apply voltage, you can see effectively the uh, charge density, the, the current density increases at high density, at high at high gate voltages. So we've got um, current uh, flowing from one contact down here along the bottom and out. You can't see the x current because we're not plotting that. So let's just go ahead and plot the x current. So let's plot what was that? That was um, I think that was uh, electron current density. Let's plot the whole current density. J, J of N of X, and we can see that at high um, gate voltages, we've got a lot of current flowing along the interface between the semiconductor and the insulator. So there we go. Um, and you can plot things like um, um, every, all the current together, so J of N all. So I think this is for sort of both directions, so in the Y and the X direction. So we can see effectively what happens to the current as we as, as we as we change the voltage and we can sort of make that a nice little heat map about what where, what's happening with our current. So let's look at the output uh, characteristics for this. So let's look at the it's called I, IV contact. Uh, so we've got contact 0, 1 and 2. So we're going to look at the JV curves for the for the various contacts. So the contacts are defined in the contact editor here. And here's the source, the gate, and the drain. So this is contact 0, 1, and 2. So let's look at contact um, 0, which is the gate. Um, and, and because there's a, this big, thick layer of insulator between there and there, you're not going to get any current going out of there. Let's look at the, um, the source. We've got current uh, flowing. So this is negative. So if we now get the current for the, for the other contact up, you can see this is positive. And the reason one is sort of inverse the other is because current's got direction, it's a vector. So one's flowing in, one's flowing out. I think negative is flowing out and positive is flowing in. Um, so that's that. So that's the current in the device. And you see that's, I'll just look, that's plus the function of voltage there. And we're going to quite high voltages, so about 15 volts. OK, let's look at how to set up the simulation now. Um, <clears throat> so the contacts, uh, you set a, a charge carry density. So that's here. You can sort of play with whether it's electron, um, 
majority or, or a whole majority or whatever. Um, and this is the, the electrical parameter editor. So this is, uh, this is quite interesting, this bit. So this is where you set things like uh, mobilities and, and things like that. Now, as I said, there's two layers. There's the semiconductor layer, the blue one, and the insulator layer. And in this case, it's called PMMA. It doesn't really matter what you call it or what it is because it doesn't conduct. So that, that's the thing. So if we look at um, this window, there's the first thing we notice is these two tabs, so parameters for the semiconductor and the PMMA. Um, now, there's various buttons along the top of this window. So we can, let's just play with these buttons. So we can um, enable and disable dynamic traps, and we can enable, enable and disable drift diffusion. Now, if we look, go back to the original configuration, if we look at the semiconductor window, we've enabled drift diffusion and traps, which makes sense because it's a disordered semiconductor, so we want to, be able to describe whole electron transport and trapping. Um, and then in the PMMA, we've disabled drift diffusion and disabled um, traps. And what this means is effectively, because drift diffusion is disabled, it means we're not going to get any conduction of any carriers through this layer, which is what we want. So it won't solve the drift diffusion equations in that layer, it'll terminate them at that interface there. Um, and um, you can change the permittivity of it. I've got it set as two, which is probably, I don't know, I don't know if, that's, if that's reasonable value, but you know, if you're gonna do, I think that is for PMMA, but for, if you're gonna do something like silicon, it'd be higher than that, um, up to about 14 or something. Um, so yeah, you can play with all those various parameters here. And if you want to do a very simple simulation, just turn off, with sort of reducing the number of parameters, just turn off the traps, um, and you are, will be left with effectively mo mobilities um, and band gaps and things like that. So um, that's it, really. Um, this is a very, very quick whiz through just to effectively demonstrate um, the, you know, the latest features and, and how to, how to uh, make this go and how to sort of kick, it, kick its wheels effectively. Um, so uh, I hope that was useful. I'll do a longer video on sort of OFET simulation a bit later, but I think that, that gives you, you the basics. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, goodbye.